I want to share something with you this morning if you're feeling powerless because, you know, I love when God gives you scriptures. And I used to use this scripture a long time ago. And sometimes history does repeat itself and you find yourself in a similar situation. And I don't know why I didn't think about this scripture the whole time I've been going through this. But do you ever feel powerless? Like, oh, I just hate, you just I have no control over this. Or you just feel like, how, why is this happening to me? How could this happen to me? Uh, what were they thinking? What was I thinking? All those questions. Well, this yesterday, it was actually yesterday, the Lord brought this scripture back to me, but I was just thinking, you know, when you're in a situation and you feel powerless, that you have no power, I want to remind you about Jesus when he was standing in the courts. And when Pilate said to him, do you not want to answer me? I have the power to set you free or the power to crucify you. In John nineteen eleven, he said these words, and I want you to listen to me. He says this, you have no power over me unless it was given to you from above. Wow. Yes, I realize, he says, you can do these things, but the power would to do crucify me or set me free wouldn't be given to you unless it was given to you from above. And the things that we're going through right now that we feel powerless about, we have no strength, we have no fight in us. We just want it. We want so much for it to be gone. We want it to be delivered. Well, I want you to feel powerful in Christ today because God's sitting on the throne, Jesus at the right hand of the Father. And if you look at the situation you're in right now and what you're facing, and you're being pushed to that moment, but when you realize in your spirit and your soul that nothing you nothing has the power over you unless it's been given to you from above, when we realize that, we can take our eyes off. Oh, why is this happening? What am I going to do? When's this going to end? How am I going to get through this? We can start thinking about, wait a minute. Nothing is going to touch me that's not been filtered through fingers of love. Nothing's going to get to my life unless the Lord allowed it to get here. So what am I going to do? I'm not going to focus on that thing. I'm going to do what I want more than anything in the world, more than I want a situation solved, more than I want to get through something, more than I want something to be over, more than anything, I want to know him more. And this is the perfect opportunity to lean into him and not to lean in the situation, to learn more about him and to be focused on him, to get as close to him as I can, to fold myself up into him and his word. So remember today, what Jesus said in John nineteen eleven, 11, you have no power over me unless it's given to you from above. Embrace what you're going through and turn all the things you feel powerless over, turn it over to God. Lean into him.